Hey everyone, welcome to Pella Venture, a program that lets students to experience entrepreneurship. My name is Goku. In this video, I'm going to have a few messages and content and tips for teachers and trainers who will use my material for teaching children about entrepreneurship. With that, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, call out. All of the Pella Venture content that you see in the video, the slides, the documents, the Excel and spreadsheets, they're all protected under the Creative Commons license. Basically, uh, it has uh, three parts to it. Um, attribution, uh, non-commercial usage. You can modify it and use it as long as you continue to um, use the same uh, license as the original, as mentioned here. So I've put together whatever the common Creative Commons license that Pella Venture uses here so that you are fully aware. A note about the training videos. All of the videos that I've done are in English. You're most welcome to create an audio version in other languages. In fact, um, I would encourage and request teachers and trainers who want to use a different language for the content that I have uh, to feel free to reach out to PellaVenture at gmail.com with which language you want to use and uh, what purpose it is for. Um, we'll be more than glad to help you um, create the voiceover or the audio material for all of the videos that we have and the slides and the presentations that we have. Um, we are actually looking for volunteers to actually do that audio and voiceover in other languages other than English. Um, any modifications that you want to do to the material, do let us know. Um, I've given you the email address at the bottom where you can connect with us and um, you know either request for a different audio translation for the same content or if you want to modify the content a little bit we can work with you and uh, take it forward. With that, I um, also wanted to give everybody who is training and teaching a, a quick overview on how this program was run. Um, I conducted in-person sessions in rural and urban schools. Uh, more than 100 students have gone through this program. Uh, it was done over a period of two or three years. Um, it wasn't a full-time program. Uh, basically, it was four to five batches of 20 to 30 students that I took and then and took them through the Pella Venture experiential program. Uh, what, it ha what was done was since it was in person, um, it was spread a program with 20 to 30 students spread over three months. Uh, we used to meet uh, for five hours in a week for about 10 weeks, that's roughly about three months. And that's how the 50 hours to the first entrepreneurial experience really comes into play. So within the three months or the 50 hours, we taught them everything about entrepreneurship. They also engaged form teams, they, they built their own products. Um, they went through all the roles that are there in a company. Um, they learned everything that was shown in the video and also um, went ahead and uh, you know sold those products Pella Venture gave a modest capital investment for each of these companies which they used to start their company build their products and whatever proceeds or profits that these companies made were given back to a real rural entrepreneur who was in need of funding and that was done through an NGO and that's how we ran this program so a few points everything that you see in the video sessions that I've shared the slides, the spreadsheets, the tools that I've given were actually taught in person to a group of 20 to 30 students. So with the 20 to 30, you typically form five to six companies and they ran for three months over 50 hours. You could do 50 hours in a much shorter duration, but what I did was in a three month period. And uh, I did many of those batches, four to five batches. And, and that's how the content itself has matured uh, in what is truly uh, uh, a live experiential program where uh, students really learn not only the basics and nuggets of entrepreneurship but they also experience being an entrepreneur building something how to handle the finance how to market how to sell and then how to make a profit and loss and things of that sort that's how i run the program um, with that i also want to kind of give a quick overview on you know how did it go about this so it's a it's a message for the teachers and trainers who are going to look at all the videos that i've put out there my request to you is uh, that the videos are meant to be for the teachers it's a 
train the teacher kind of a video. So I uh, really request uh, you, the, the trainers and enthusiastic teachers to watch these videos in entirety uh, for a session. Gather all the supporting materials that I've put out there before you start to actually work with the children. The supporting materials itself is the video themselves. You can play it as is, or you could teach it yourself as you play it, pause it uh, in whichever way you want, or in other languages like we talked about. Um, use the slides, the spreadsheets, and other documents that I provide. Uh, one other important suggestion that I want to give is as you f have a group of students and you're running through this, you will see companies being formed with a group of three to five students, um, multiple of them, and they'll start to build products. It's very uh, valuable if you can bring a mentor or a subject matter expert based on the kind of product that the students are building. For example, I had a group of students that were uh, wanting to write a fiction uh, a book and I actually brought in a, a uh, author who could uh, talk to that group or that company to give them tips on how to go about it. Uh, there was another set of pro pro product where uh, students were actually making electronic products, um, um, either lab kits or uh, um, um, you know um, electronic aids for uh, uh, people with disability. So I did bring uh, a, a person with an electronics background a computer background to actually spend some time with that team. What it does is it really helps the team or the company get real mentorship or valuable tips from somebody who's a subject matter expert in that. While all of the Pella Venture program doesn't really have a bias on what kind of product you want to build, we want the students to actually dream big and build what they have as interest, what they have as talent, and what they see as the need for the product. It could be anywhere from writing a book to making craft work uh, to actually building a, you know, electronic gadgets or writing a program, starting a library of sorts. It could be any of those. So we don't bias their, uh, their outcome of what the product should be. But as it starts to evolve um, through Pala Venture, we actually brought these mentors as well. So I encourage the teachers and trainers to reach out to me if you need help for specific areas where companies that are getting formed by these students and children on a specific product that needs a subject matter expert, more than glad to uh, help you with that. Again, email is there, reach out to me. Um, and then the last part is, um, would be great if you took every session and broke it up into five parts. The first part is you always want to have a recap, recap of what was taught in the previous session. I try to put it in my videos as well. So start with a recap because there is a good chance you may not be doing these sessions every day. You may do it once a week, once in two weeks, because you want the time also for the teams to work together, think a little bit more and discuss. Plus they have their day school or other day jobs that they're working on. So for continuity, continuity sake, number one, have a recap of the previous session. Review the work that was done by the team or the company based on the previous session. So you will see that what that means in the next three points. If they had done some work based on what they learned in the previous session, spend some time reviewing that part. Then you get into what you want to teach in this session. Uh, use the material, the videos, the documents and associated slides and everything to teach a particular portion for that session, for that week or that day. What do you want to teach? That's the third part. Once you're done with that, give a little time for the companies and students and teams to uh, internalize it, engage in a kind of an activity where they start to, you know, work on what they learned. If it means today's session is about giving a name for the company or creating a logo and you taught them how to do it, give them some time after teaching that session to brainstorm, to make a few that they want, to a few ideas on the company name, a few, you know, artwork on the logos and let them discuss. So there is an activity for what you just taught. And then the last one is, what actions do you want the team to take as you finish that session that you want them to do before they come for the next session? So it will be really good for you to break every session into these five parts because it really helps them to build the continuity and that's where time spent is so valuable. Um, those are some just general tips of me running the program in person. Um, you know, there is going to be always the variations and challenges and Teachers and trainers are really creative. You may come up with better ways. Feel free to share that uh, with uh, me. 
I've provided all the details bel below are uh, the best ways through email. I really uh, hope this material and, and that I've posted out there is valuable for all the teachers and trainers and all the students who want to experience entrepreneurship. Uh, it's a very uh, fulfilling, rewarding uh, program, uh, which is very satisfying not only for the trainers and teachers, but for the students. Um, I really wish you all the very best and I really hope you have an exciting time running through Pala Venture Experiential Entrepreneurship Program for all the key learners. Thank you and best wishes.